It's something many parents battle every single day. Their kids spending way too much time in front of the TV playing video games. Turns out doctors are also now using gaming systems to help pinpoint some hard to diagnose conditions. Dr. Joe shows us why this could be life changing for lots of kids and some adults. Well, Denise and Kathy, we're talking about people who are thought to have ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's often suspected by teachers who see children with fidgety behavior or problems paying attention in class. Now, doctors confirm it using a history and physical, but now there's a new way to test for the disease. And you're not going to press any key at all when the star has four points. Right. This may look like a high-tech video game. But it's really a test called the quotient. Shooting stars and space bars measure reaction times while sensors on the head and legs record how much you wiggle while playing. But I was still shocked. I knew I had it. I just didn't know to what degree I had it. Carol's talking about her ADHD. She was diagnosed 10 years ago but still had her doubts. Nothing worked. She was initially treated for depression, OCD, and bipolar disorder. Most people occasionally have a day where they may wake up and they're in a fog. That's the way I lived my life. They have problems with their moods, so they're uh, frustrated by the problems that they've had in their adult life keeping jobs. They don't understand why they can't keep a job. Dr. Kenneth Pages says while ADHD is commonly diagnosed in children, it's harder to pinpoint in adults like Carol. This new quotient test helps. We've done people as high as 45 to 50. They're shocked. That age group is just not used to the whole ADHD thing at all. But it also works for kids, easing worried parents who wonder if their child's symptoms are caused by ADHD or something else. I'm not parenting my child right is very common, uh, the, uh, the perception, or the teacher doesn't really know how to teach. Carol's original score was orange, confirming ADHD. This test was a verification. This test also shows if her medication is working. These blocks of color show Carol before and after her treatment. Her score is now green, and that's good. And it was affirmation that I do need to be on the medication. Medication, she says, helped change her life. But in me, calms me down, makes me be able to to focus and enjoy life. It's, it's changed my whole outlook. Now, Dr. Pages says there have been cases where ADHD was suspected in a child and the test was negative, sparing that child from stimulant medications like Adderall or Ritalin. Now, this FDA-approved test can be used in patients age 6 to 55. It costs about $200 and it's usually covered by insurance. But before you can take the test, you'll need a doctor's evaluation and a referral. Kathy, Denise?